What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're back with a review of the 2023 Top Series 2 Jumbo Box here. Um, very excited for this one. Of course, we did the Hobby Box review on the channel a few days ago. Um, that box was not too great, in my opinion. Did hit a nice uh, numbered relic, I guess, but no auto, no big parallels. Um, I'm hoping this box treats us a little bit differently. Uh, I do prefer Jumbo over Hobby, as I know many, many people do. Um, much more hits, much better odds at hitting stuff in general. Um, so let's hope we can get some cool stuff today. Before we rip in, let's go ahead and get into the details for what you can expect to find in here, the price, all that sort of stuff, which I will put right up there as always. Um, so in terms of price, these are right at about $210 a box. That's basically double the price of Hobby, um, a little bit more than double, but yeah, right around there. Um, you're gonna get the standard 10 packs per box, and each jumbo pack is gonna have 46 cards per pack. Um, that will change a little bit if you do get one of the uh, big relic cards that take up a bunch of space in the pack, but overall 46 cards per pack one auto, one mem, and one manufactured relic guaranteed in the box. So you are guaranteed those three hits. Two of them are relics, one manufactured, plus an auto, hoping to find a really cool auto today. Um, another nice thing about the jumbo boxes that you do get two silver packs per jumbo box, and you get a box topper, which has the uh, potential to be autographed. It's very, very rare, but um, it is possible. Then as far as some exclusives to the Jumbo, you can find the Black Parallel out of 72. They have the uh, Golden Mirror, SSPs, the Heavy lum Lumber inserts, the Social Media Follow Backs, the Home Field Advantage, and there's a super, super rare Jumbo uh, exclusive art set. I think it was, it's one in like 20,000 packs, so probably not gonna see one of those today, but some cool stuff to chase after. And then as far as the rookies go, um, this class is pretty good. I think you guys know it by now, but uh, Anthony Volpe is probably the headliner, along with Jordan Walker, James Altman, Corbin Carroll, uh, Masataki Yoshida, Josh Young, Francisco Alvarez. So a bunch of decent names in there. No one huge like Adley Rutschman was in series one, but some nice, nice names. And hopefully we should see all of them today, maybe even some duplicates. Usually in these jumbo boxes, you will get, if not a complete set, very, very close to a complete set. So I expect to see all of the rookies. There is our box topper right on top. It is going to be Bryce Harper, 22 record breakers. So we did not get a numbered one, but pretty cool card there. Oversized box topper, got our two silver packs and then our jumbo packs try to get all these jumbo packs out of there that way we can rip into them a little bit easier if you guys have ripped a bunch of uh series two this year let me know how you've done if you prefer the uh hobby format the jumbo format or maybe one of the retail formats even i haven't tried any retail yet but i'm sure i will at some point empty box right there put this off to the side and we will get to ripping into these packs. I am going to save those silver packs for last since they do have chances at autos or uh, numbered cards there. Here's the uh, jumbo pack design. Here is the back. Again, the odds are on tops.com. Unfortunately, not on the back of the packs like they had done in years past. I always liked it on the back of the packs because then you could just quickly reference it if needed. And here is the series two design as well. Of course, looks the exact same as series one, but you have a different set of players. So uh, we're gonna try to get through the base pretty quick. The good stuff should be in the middle or near the middle. There's a rookie card right there. That's where all uh, your inserts, your autograph, your hits, any numbered cards will all be in the middle of the pack. We will stop for some good rookies though. There's one right there, James Altman. If any other decent names, we're coming up to the middle of the pack here. Let's see what we have. I think we have a 
backwards card we do, and it is a rookie, Kerry Carpenter. It's just going to be a rainbow foil rookie parallel, not numbered, but nice parallel to start us off. Marcus Stroman, just an insert there. Jordan Groshans, rookie insert, not numbered. And then we end off with a little bit more base. See if there's any of those good names in here. Looking for Volpe and Carroll. We already got an Outman, which is nice. Maybe we'll find a couple of him. All right, that does it for pack number one. So we did get a nice rookie parallel and one of the bigger names, name rookies in James Outman. We'll sleeve those up and then we'll get into our second pack. Again, 10 packs per box. see what we have here. I don't see a thick card, so it's either going to be a auto or just a bunch of inserts. Let's do a little flip here. We'll get into the middle. Spencer Strider Gold Cup. And we're to the middle of the pack. We do have another backwards card. Could just be a foil. I think it's gonna be a foil. Edwin Diaz. Edwin Diaz, veteran foil right there. Another World Baseball Classic insert. Matt Chapman and more base. So no numbered parallels yet. Just a couple of rainbow foils. Should see a few of the gold foils as well. And that'll do it for pack number two. Not much doing in that pack. Let's see what pack number three has. Let's see if we can't pull one of our hits here. Not sure there's gonna be one in here, but let's see. Will Brennan, rookie. Matt Walner. Lots and lots and lots of base. Okay, we're getting to that middle part again where the good stuff would be. There's an Otani, that's a nice one. Stone Garrett, looks like we have a Jock Peterson. It's probably going to be a gold foil, if I had to guess. And then we have a uh, gold parallel behind it. So Jock Peterson, not numbered gold foil, followed by a gold parallel of the Houston Astros. That should be numbered out of 2023. And it is right there, 1560 out of 2023. So our first numbered card. We have a Johnny Bench backwards card, Legends of the Game insert. Cool looking insert there. Julio Rodriguez, 88 All-Star. Those are not numbered. And then some more base. So we got our first numbered card, which is nice. Fortunately, it was a team card, which don't hold a ton of value. You definitely want those, those rookie parallels. There's a nice rookie. Jordan Walker, get him sleeved up as well. Spencer Steer, it's another decent rookie, probably a top 10 guy. And Edwin Diaz rounds out that pack. So a much better pack there in pack number three. Still looking for all of our hits is nice that means we're probably saving them for the end got that cool johnny bench insert and a numbered card of the houston astros that is our number one card so far so i will throw it in the back and hopefully we'll be able to replace it with something better definitely not expecting a team gold parallel to be our best hit Looks like we do have one of our relics here. It's pretty thick, so I, I'm gonna guess it's the manufacturer relic. Let's see what we have. Bunch of base, no big name rookies that I've seen. If I am skipping over any, let me know. Let's see what we have here. We have a backwards card. Spencer Steer, very nice. That should be a Spencer Steer parallel. It is a gold foil rookie, Spencer Steer. Not bad right there. 
And our hit is going to be a crowning achievements commemorative patch card of Ken Griffey Jr. Very nice. So that is our manufactured patch. Kind of a cool design there. Of course, a great player to get in Griffey. Very nice. So that's hit number one. Got a Kershaw, Frank Thomas insert, and more base. Still looking for a couple of the, there's one of them. I was going to say looking for a couple of the big name rookies, including Anthony Volpe, which is right there. And Oswaldo Cabrera's not a bad one either, but we will get those cards sleeved up. Got to put that Spencer Steer in the sleeve, get it all protected up. Same with that Ken Griffey Jr. First hit of the box. We'll definitely take a uh, Hall of Fame relic, even if it is a manufacturer relic, it's still decent. Throw that in the back right there. And we'll get into pack number five, officially halfway through the box. Still looking for two hits and hopefully some short print parallels. I think we do have a backwards card here, maybe. Not much in this pack so far. We're on to the good stuff. Let's see what we have. Brian De La Cruz. This is going to be a gold foil veteran and then i think we have our autograph right behind this and it's going to be a ryan kreidler 1988 on card autograph it is a rookie auto uh, i don't know much about him i don't think he's a very big name but that is our auto for the box so decent one there if you guys know anything about him let me know Got a DeGrom Aces insert, David Ortiz 88 All-Stars, and more base. That's a little bit disappointing of a hit. Maybe we will have a super rare relic or something nice waiting in those silver packs. Could be an autograph in those silver packs as well. Get that. Autograph sleeved up, protected. I am going to replace the gold parallel in the back since this was our auto. It's a little bit more rare than the gold parallels. Not by much, probably, but pack number six. And we may have, may have a relic here, may not. Might just be some cards a little bit stuck together. Still looking for our first Corbin Carroll. Maybe we'll find it in a parallel. A rookie right here, Lias Diaz. We have a couple backwards cards. Rafael Ortega should be a foil, it is. It's a rainbow foil. <laughs> kind of looks gold, but I think it's a rainbow foil. Another veteran, one of those. And we do have a numbered card behind that. David Ortiz out of 75. Very nice. David Ortiz, 1988 gold. That is numbered 10 out of 75. So pretty cool hit right there. Would have been nice if that was a rookie, but significant statistics insert. Not numbered. Scherzer all-star. And back to the base. So we did get a lower numbered card, unfortunately. It is another retired veteran, not a rookie card. But still, David Ortiz is an absolute legend. So no complaining about that one. Get it sleeved up as well. And we're gonna replace the, I think we're gonna take the Griffey Relic. And replace the, play, replace it with the Ortiz since it is out of 75. A little more rare there. Four jumbo packs left, and then we have our two silver packs. 
and we're still waiting on a relic. Should have a relic at some point in these last four packs. Overall, this box so far, I would say is not very good. Maybe average, a little below average. So we'll see if we can change that in the last couple packs. Starting with a Kevin Newman. It's gonna be a foil. That is the rainbow foil, another veteran. Another backwards card out of 300. It's gonna be the uh, significant, or the uh, statistics, advanced statistics out of 300. Geraldo Perdoma. And that one is numbered 138 out of 300. See, they have the uh, different stats down there. Another one of these World Baseball Classic inserts. Wilson Contreras and more base. So another numbered card, another non-rookie numbered card. Will Benson. There's a Yoshida rookie. Sleeve him up. Guthrie, Olsen, Jameson, and Gallon. All right, so a couple cards to sleeve there. Another numbered card. Nothing too big, though. With three packs left, our Relic is remaining. Our Silver Packs, I'm hoping, will have something cool. Let's see what we can find. I think we may have our relic in this one. There's a nice uh, Corbin Carroll. First time we've seen him. Very nice rookie. Josh Young, another nice one right there. Let's see what our relic is gonna be. It looks like we may have a backwards card before that. Gonna be a Brad Boxberger foil. Another veteran foil, and then our relic is a Nick Prado Major League Material. Just a uh, little one color rookie player worn memorabilia relic right there, not numbered. But we will sleeve that up. Adam Wainwright, Mitch Hanniger, and more. Base. So yeah, our three hits were not the best. Got kind of a, a no-name auto. Did get that nice Griffey uh, relic. And then kind of a lower end player worn relic as well. Do still have those two packs left. Two jumbo packs left, I should say. And the silver packs can always come back and save the day. That's the nice part about those uh, silver packs that are guaranteed with the Hobby and the Jumbo boxes. You do have chances at very, very nice cards in there as well. Including autographs, number of cards, top rookies, all that cool stuff. Let's see what we have here. I think we have another one of those Aces inserts. There's another James Altman. So we are getting some... Duplicates. It's a good one right there. And we have another backwards card. It's going to be a Dakota Hudson. Should be a foil right there. Veteran foil. We have a home run challenge. Chris Bryant. I think those are about one per box. An all aces insert. Sunny Gray. Hank Aaron, 88 All-Star, and more base. Kind of a dud pack right there. Let's see if we have any of those other big name rookies. If we can get some more duplicates. No one else in that one other than that James Outman. We'll get into our last pack here of the Jumbo Box. Is there any low numbered parallel waiting for us? See something colorful. Might just be the back of a card though. Jake Fraley, Strada, Hedges, France, Willie Castro, Cole Calhoun. We have a backwards card here. 
see what it is. Logan Ohapi. Should be a rookie uh, foil. Another rookie foil. And a Chad Pinder gold parallel out of 2023. That one is 764 out of 2023. And Masataka Yoshida, 88 insert rookie right there. So that's a decent one. Another Will Benson, another Yoshida. So we got two base Yoshidas and an insert Yoshida. It's pretty nice, he's a good player. And the last card, Zach Gallen. So we'll get those last couple rookies in parallel sleeved up, we'll get into those silver packs and then we will get out of here. Let's see if we have any luck with the silver packs. Overall, I would say those are pretty Pretty bad jumbo box um, for $200. Definitely don't think you would get your money back for that one, which is fine. Can't really expect to break a bunch of boxes and get your money back, but you would like to see a little bit more value maybe in some of the lower numbered parallels or something like that. But let's see if there's anything in these silver packs. Should be four cards in each silver pack. And don't think we have anything in pack number one. Max Scherzer, Jordan Groshans, rookie, Hunter Brown, rookie, and Hunter Green. So we got Hunter Brown and Hunter Green back to back. All right, last pack of the entire break right here. Can we get some last pack mojo? Let's see, Nolan Ryan. I don't think we have a parallel or an autograph. Uh, Nolan Ryan, Jeff Bagwell, Tristan McKenzie, and last card of the break, David Hensley, rookie silver pack parallel right there. So unfortunately the silver packs did not save us. Overall, a pretty lackluster box. Let's do a quick recap. Here's the uh, some of the better rookies and parallels that we found and inserts right there. Here's some of our numbered cards and relics. Got the Chad Pinder out of 2023, the Nick Prado rookie relic, Perdoma out of 300, the advanced st statistics, Ken Griffey manufactured patch, and the Astros team card out of 2023. Our lowest numbered parallel of the box was this Ortiz Gold out of 75. The nice little chip over on the left side. And then our, unfortunately, our autograph, the hit of the box, Ryan Kreidler, rookie on card auto right there. So um, I'm sure I'll open some more jumbo on the channel going forward. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably rip some retail at some point, but um, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.